All right, well, we're going to go ahead and get started because it is 10 o'clock. Hold on one second. I'm going to go live. Hold on one second, and uh, once this goes live, I'll get moving. All right, well, welcome. Uh, this is, I'm Dr. Robin McKillop with Get That GED, and it's a new company that I'm providing to help people get tutoring so they can pass their GED tests. And this will just be a short informational meeting. If you have any questions, put them in the chat and uh, feel free to hop on if you are on facebook live you can hop on the zoom call i will uh, get that into the feed on the live so i'm going to start talking and again if you have questions just put them in the chat if i don't get to them during the meeting i will get to them right after all right the first thing is what is get that ged it's a company I started because I've been teaching GED for over six years. Um, I've been a teacher since 2000 and I've been an online teacher since 2001. So it makes a lot of sense to provide an avenue for students who want to earn their GED to have something, a, a tutoring online. I know that a lot of students can't go into colleges or onto campuses because they work, they have family obligations. There's a lot of reasons why an online methodology is great. So that's what I'm doing. I'm providing tutoring so you can earn your GED. So where does it happen? It's online. I use Zoom and I go through lessons for each of the four subjects and it is a, paid gig but you know if you need some extra support and help that's why I'm here and when does it happen I usually run about eight regular scheduled classes a month and then I have office hours every week and office hours means you can just drop in and ask whatever questions you might have why am I doing this because it's needed people need to get their GEDs in order to get better jobs to get promotions to prove a point to their children. There are so many reasons people want and need to get a GED and they need to have access to teachers so they can learn the stuff that they're, they're not learning on their own. It's really hard to learn in isolation and that's for everybody, not just GED students, that's for anybody. It is hard to learn all by yourself. So it helps to have some support and someone who knows what's on the tests I tend to teach to the tests. I don't teach you extraneous stuff you don't need to know because my goal is to get you to the next point in your journey. And who is this for? This is for anyone who is looking to earn their GED. So one of the things I want you to be aware of, there are a lot of not so great so-called companies out there taking your money and not delivering. This is different. I am a real teacher. I teach GED and I've been doing it for a long time. What I found is some of my students have wanted an online opportunity because again, not everyone can go to the, the local college or the, the local learning center and spend time in a classroom. They need to be able to access teachers online in a manner that fits their schedule. So that's why I'm doing this. There are some scams online. Be very careful. I am not the only bona fide teacher in town. There are lots of really good programs. 
I am just one and I'll be teaching a math lesson during this just so you can see what my style is. If I click with you, let's talk. If I don't, there are other programs and I can actually help you find some of those. But make sure that any program you join is legitimate. It's a real business. They understand that they are tutoring you in the concepts for GED. And if anyone says that you can take the test online, not true. You have to go to a certified testing center. And in most states, there is a small fee for each of the four tests, but it's, it's not horrible. So just know that if anyone says you can take the test online at home, that's not true. Move, move away from that, that business right away. All right, what I'm gonna do right now is a really quick math lesson. This is, a, this is on mean, median, mode. And this will show up on the math test, the science test, and the social studies test. So this is a really good thing to know because it's on three of the tests. All right, I'm gonna switch my camera. And let's see if that come in a little closer. All right. So when you start to do mean, median, mode, even range, you will get a set of numbers, usually in a row, not always. Sometimes it'll be in a paragraph form um, and you'll have to pull the numbers out, but you'll get a set of numbers. This is called a data set. Anytime you have a string of numbers, it's a data set. And that's vocabulary that will show up on the test. So mean means average. If you're looking for the mean of something, of a data set, you're looking for the average. In this case, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven data points. That's important. I'm just gonna write that down here. And to find the average of all these numbers, I'm gonna add them together. So I'm gonna get my trusty calculator. This is the only calculator you can use for the GED test. Um, you can get them on Amazon for about 15 bucks. You can get them at Walmart, uh, Best Buy, uh, most, most big stores you can get them, Office Depot, Office Max. So the first thing we're gonna do with these Actually, the second thing. The first thing we're gonna do is put them in numerical order. So we're gonna start with a two, 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 four, four, six, eight. Let's make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I still have seven data points, so I did that right. There's a reason I have you put them in order, and you'll see that really quick when we get into median and mode. So let's add these numbers together. We've got two plus two plus two plus four plus four plus six plus eight equals 28. And that's all we're doing. We're just adding them right now. That is the total number. Now, how do we find the average? How do we find the mean? We know there's seven data points because I wrote it down right here. We're gonna take 28 and divide it by seven. And seven times, seven goes into 28 four times. So your mean is four. Four is the average of all of these, whoops, I went, Blurry. Come on, pick that back up. There we go. So four is the average of all of these numbers. Now let's do median. Think about median as a term in traffic. The median is usually the stuff in the middle of the road that keeps you and the oncoming traffic separated. You know, if you're going down a freeway, there's a median. It's usually grassy or trees or bushes or a fence. So a median is the middle. And to find the middle, this is why I put them in numerical order. Oh, I'm going out. I don't know why it's uh, blurring out. That's all right, we'll figure it out. So the median 
is the middle number when they are in numerical order. So you'd be a lot harder to find the middle number when they're out of order, but when they're numerically ordered, one, two, three, start at the other end, one, two, three, middle number is four. And it is perfectly okay if your mean, median, mode, and range are the same number. It's just the way it works a lot of the time. The last one we're going to do is mode. And the mode is the number that appears most often. So in this case, we've got three twos, two fours, one six, one eight. Two is going to be the mode because it shows up most often. So two is our mode. So how was that? Not so bad. What you'll see uh, on the social studies test, you'll probably see populations of cities, that type of question. It'll be a story problem and they'll say, they'll either give you a chart or, or it'll be a story paragraph. And they'll say, you know, Denver has such and such hundred thousands of people. Uh, Chicago has such and such hundreds of thousands of people. And Philadelphia has such and such hundreds of thousands of people. What is the average of the three cities? So you'll take those three populations, add them together, and divide by the number of data sets, which is, or data points, which is three, and that will give you the average population of Denver, Chicago, and Philadelphia. So it's good to know anyway, because there may be other times in life when you need to find an average. All right, I'm gonna turn back to the other camera. So you can see me. All right, and again, I am Dr. Robin McKillop, and I've got a new company called Get That GED. And my goal is to help anyone who's looking to earn their GED. I'm looking to help tutor you and get you the support you need so you can pass all four tests. And I'll talk a little bit about the GED just so you have the information. Some of this you may know, but some of it may be new. Again, there are four tests that you take separately. English or language arts, English, social studies, science, and math. The math test is usually the one that gets students the most nervous. And uh, I happen to be a pretty good math teacher. And it's not because I was good at math all my life. Believe me, you can become good at math later in life. It took me having to teach it to become good at it. And uh, the math test covers basic arithmetic up through high level algebra and geometry. The geometry portion I don't think is bad. Some of the algebra gets a little confusing. There are a lot of concepts you have to learn for one test. And if you think about it, if someone went to high school, they'd have four years to learn all that and you are probably doing it in three to nine months. So give yourself a pat on the back if you're beginning this journey because it's a big deal. It is a huge deal. And the amount of knowledge that you will process in three to nine months, depending on how long you want to take to get your GED, it's astounding the amount of knowledge that you will run through and process. And you'll know at the end. So if you decide to go on to further education, you'll have a really good framework. And if you decide just to get a better job, it's a huge accomplishment to earn your GED. It's giant. All right, I don't see any questions in the Zoom chat. Let me see if there are any questions on Facebook. Hey, Bill, so good to see you. Is it, lives are cool. You can see everybody around the world. Bill's in Chile, and he was watching. All right, I don't see any questions. So what I'm gonna let you know is, and I'll put it in both the Zoom chat and the uh, Facebook Live chat. Get a hold of me if you're interested. We will have a, we'll get on the phone and we'll talk about your needs. We'll talk about how I can help you, if I can help you. Um, and we'll, we'll discuss what you wanna do, how long you wanna spend earning your GED. And again, I've had students finish in four weeks. I've had students finish in nine months. And they all come away accomplished 
and happy. And that's amazing. It's a huge accomplishment. So, all right, let me put my email in the chat. You can email me anytime. I'm going to put it in the Facebook chat as well. And if you haven't downloaded the GED guide, I will put that in the Facebook chat too. And you can find me on Facebook under my name, Robin McKillop. You can find me under Get That GED. There's a group and a business page. And you can get the GED guide via email. There's a lot of ways to contact me. So grab the guide, take a look at it, see if maybe this is something you want to pursue. And let's do it. All right. Well, that's about all I've got for today. And again, questions are welcome. If you're watching the replay, again, just get a hold of me if you're interested in learning more and we'll talk about your needs and we'll get you going. All right. Well, thank you very much and I'll see you all soon.